welcome to the shave. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good week so far. Thank you, Mrs. H. Yet again. So welcome to the bathroom, to the shave den, whatever. Midweek shave. Um, what are we using? Well, a couple of products I've not used for a while. Um, the soap of choice is this thing. Herban Cowboy Dusk. It's a very sort of masculine, musky, classic or uh, sort of scented soap. Um, vegan, I believe. Um, no harm to any, no testing on animals and uh, 2.9 ounce puck. Now that is in the captain's choice. I'm going to try it in this, in this, in the soap locker. Comes with a lid and it's in there on three spikes. Um, I did wet the soap, pressed it in and um, we'll see if it sticks on it as we lather up. The brush, of, I'm going to use a captain's choice brush as well. I'll use this for a while, I like this. Look at the colours on that. Isn't that beautiful? Um, synthetic knot again and it is logoed there. A nice coin in a black, black and gold. Is it? Or black and silver, is it? Gold. Lovely. So we'll use that. Razor of choice. This is the Merca Bakelite 45. Merca 45. Three piece, non adjustable. That's what we're using there. Um, a metal, that's the only metal in the whole razor. It's a hollow handle. Even that's uh, uh, plastic, so you've got to be very careful with this. So we'll load that up in a minute on this camera. Create the lather. Uh, blade of choice will be this. Use a nice blade, Persona Platinum, Persona Red, brand new. And um, yeah, so we'll go down to the other camera, load the razor, create the lather, and back to sort that lot out. That'll do us. Just gather it off the puck really because uh, into the brush. It's enough there we can always go back to it. There we go. So we'll just wet the face and we'll get on with it. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining me. Hope your week's going well. Yeah, and your shaves, obviously. Here we go then. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was Charles. Must send me this. Thank you, Charles. Hope you're well. And Mrs. Charles, of course. Gorgeous. 
percent. Right. The Merca bake light of Merca 45. So here we go, heat it up. I think it's a uh, really classic scent. If you like musky, must, musky, must scents and things like that. It's, uh, it's lovely. Here we go. It's, it's a bit of a dissipating soap. But, um, but from my memory, it's a good slickness to it. Now I'd say this is, uh, no, we'll judge the razor in a minute. It's a lovely razor, small. Very lightweight, ideal for travel, I expect. If you do a lot of traveling and shaving, okay. Nice red. Um, you can see it's a red, deep red, with some black flecks in it. Really nice. Now, if you like a really long lasting, thick, creamy lather on the face, this isn't the soap for you. But the other sides to it, um, if vegan is your thing, well, oh, the slickness, you say I knew this, where this soap wins is slickness and scent. Beautiful. But it's not a very lasting, it's quite a dissipating soap. Um, but as I say, the, the, the positives for that, if, if you wanted a vegan soap, uh, that type of thing, it's, it's a really good working soap. I've used it before, and that's why I'm using it again. Here we go. You may have tried it yourselves. You may have done. Mm. They do various soaps. I was looking at their sort of um, their sort of uh, what they sell. They do hand soaps and different things. There is overhang on this to be aware of this razor. Now the aggression. And really, that's a personal thing for you. It depends what blade you're using. It depends how many times that blade's been used. It depends on your skin, your whiskers, how much growth you've got. Even down to what uh, soap or cream you're using as a shaving a base like this. If it's slick, if it's not. In this case, it's very slick. Um, I'd say it's a high-end mid-aggression. If I put a feather blade in this, it would be an aggressive low-end for me. So it's not um, looks small, but it's got a nice little bite to it. But very, it's very um, nicely made. Everything works. As it should. 
Listen to that, lovely. The slickness is amazing on this. Wow. Across the growth. Yeah, slickness is outstanding. Oh, it's a smell. Again, it takes me... I, I say it's a classic scent because it takes me to a... Again, a child's something it must have been something my dad used or a soap he used not necessarily a shaving soap um, a washing soap you know because yeah, there was no in them days there was, like, there was shower gels and things like that then it was a bar of soap either in the bath uh, or in the shower and the shower was a later addition to our family. Was, I think we had, in the 80s, we had a shower. And the way there was a bath against the growth. Yeah, it takes me back to something of that era. Something he used, reminds me of it. Um, really nice musk scent. Masculine. You having a shave today? As usual, please let me know. And thank you for your, as I say all the time, for, for your time in watching these and, and commenting and letting me know things. And I really appreciate it. Very nice razor and a good blade, it always is for me. If you're new to wet shaving, I've said it before, you can't do it overnight. It takes time. Some people take to it quicker than others, but it's worth patience. It's one of those things you want to start when you have time to yourself. Uh, you'll enjoy it more. Um, and you'll start when you use different blades, even though blades look all the same, don't they? But they're quite different in how they feel and their aggression and their sharpness. And, and if you use different blades in the same razor that you've got, you'll find you love or you like some uh, blades, some you'll think, oh no, that's too rough for me, too tuggy, too whatever, too sharp. As silly as that sounds. And uh, you'll find some blades, you'll think, wow, that's nice, that works well. And you make a note of them, or keep them on side, and then you'll build up, you might have one, two, five blades which really work for you. And then you can buy more of them, you see, without wasting money. That's what we're doing against the growth. Your time is now, three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Yay. Um, so it's worth, as I say, if you're new to this or you, you've been shaving, but you find you're not really enjoying it. It's, it could just be the, the blades you're using. Or if you've just bought one pack of blades, thinking, well, all blades are the same. They're not. It is worth buying a multi-brand sample pack. And that'll give you different brands five pack, ten packs of them, try them all, uh, take your time and uh, it'll be worth it in the end because once you start enjoying this, oh it's lovely because I hated, as I said before, I hated shaving. Uh, I've never looked back. Well I certainly didn't think I'd be sh shaving on on camera and having a thing called a YouTube channel I 
Funny how life, things in life happen. That is, that is stunning. Right, cold water rinse. Yesterday morning, we woke up to two inches of snow and below um, freezing, you know, oof, I think it was two or three degrees below freezing. So I cleared my car and I cleared Mrs. H's car ready for when she went to, to work about two or three hours later. And um, that's what it looked like. But happy with that gorgeous scent this beautiful scent uh sandalwood humphrey sandalwood i made it a sandalwood for some essential oil in it um and i cleared the car and it was coming down thick and fast and uh, it was lovely to see but uh, oh, cold you know but uh And it sort of snowed off and on lightly, heavily during the day. And then um, it's forecast a bit of snow today, maybe, but uh, I think mainly maybe heating up a bit, uh, it'll turn to rain or whatever. But uh, we'll see, you'll never know, dear. And then we're gonna, oh no, yes we are. We're gonna call in Avon, Wild Country. Avon is a spray, is it? Yeah. This will go well with it. So here we go. Oh, it's nice. Doesn't it's not a match to that, but it's that it's in the same sort of um, it's a cousin that you know it goes well with it. Well for me anyway, Avon Wild Country. And then this one here, the Gabriel. I, I like this. Um, the fresh face aftershave cream cologne. I keep meaning to get the other one as well, there's a blue one. And it's a sort of a half gel, half cream. But it's not sticky like a gel, it's, uh, it's really nice. And that is, that's a midweek. Very happy with that. So the only thing, as I say, in this shave, which would be better is if the soap didn't dissipate. Um, doesn't look good on camera because it looks, you know, when you, you think, oh, you've done, look at that, it's disappearing, which it is. But it's the scent is wonderful and it's a good slickness. Uh, you can still shave. It's just that you can't see slickness, can you? Um, but it works well, so it's really nice. So we've used the, yeah, the, it's called, uh, I'll show you another thing again. Herb and Cowboy Musk Shave Soap. And um, went into the Captain's Choice, the um, soap locker, and it worked well in there. It pressed in, um, didn't jangle about. It worked well and uh, gathered enough. Yeah, it worked. So what I found helps me if it's a hard puck is I just soak it in water about two minutes and then press it in it doesn't waste because you'll when you lather up you'll anything that's come out well that you can use it and it stayed fast so it does its job it's a soap locker it did work that's good um, it works well as well if you've got a small tiny puck you know when you haven't got a um, shave mug to fit in things like that that works well Come for the lid, of course, so if you wanted to shave with it tomorrow, put the lid on, off you go. I've used it before. Um, we've used the Merca 45 Bakelite, three-piece, non-adjustable, 
overhang to be aware of is a lined knurling, um, very light, head heavy, um, easy, very manoeuvrable, works well. It's on the high end mid aggression for me with a Persona Red brand new, really nice. Um, we use them Welsh water to rinse, thank you Paul and the team. Humphreys Witch Hazel, which I added some sandalwood essential oil to long ago. Um, then we've used the Avon Wild Country aftershave. It is an aftershave, yeah. And then, um, because some of them say cologne. And then we use the Gabri, the uh, aftershave cream cologne. And that was it, midweek, done and dusted. So enjoy, if you have a shave, enjoy your shave, or shaves whenever you have one. Um, I hope you have a good rest of the week in good health and uh, happy if you can, a happy week and uh, I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave and they come in around quick. <laughs> it's good for shaving but it's, life is just going. <laughs> so have a great week, all the best, thank you very much and bye bye.